Renaissance Festival, we really need to fit the part, right? I don't feel like we fit in right now. A quick costume change. And we are ready to meet the king. Or so we thought. Look at his body knees right now. That's the, <laughs> that's the first part about wearing a kilt oh. is having good knees. As usual, I looked way better than Steve. <laughs> and you look wonderful. Did you you hear make that? a perfect serving wench. Hey. You deserve that. Did you know the Texas Renaissance Festival is the biggest of its kind in the country? Do not wander about aimlessly, know your way. More than half a million people come for the eight weekends it's open every year. Uh, the Renaissance Festival is 42 years old, and we are a 60-acre Renaissance village that is full of crafts and artisans from all over the world. To the dark. There's truly something for everybody here. I will be the winner. We can see the unchivalrous knight that he is. Is that camera digital? Just when you think you've seen it all, you find something else. Oh, you're the natural. Or something else finds you. When you woke up today, did you expect to be wearing a skirt and holding a snake? No, but I wouldn't have it any other way. Tickets are $23.95 online and $30 at the gate. Kids get in for $11.95. Trust us, it's an experience you won't soon forget. People want to get away. They want to escape. They like to play Let's Pretend. They love to dress up in costume. I always had issues with self-confidence. And out here, you can dress how you want. You can be who you want. And it doesn't matter. I don't know, you kind of come to accept everything as normal after seven years of this. What's normal anyway? At the Texas Renaissance Festival. Steve Campion. Your Majesty's coming Master, through. Pay some attention. Pucha Lodia. 13 Eyewitness News. They have a good time everywhere they go, apparently. Well, they fit right in, didn't they? <laughs> yes, they did.